Hey there, people! I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider-Man, and welcome you back to Let's Play Blind, the Thimbleweed Park, as we left off. I need to find a book from the section 3.1 that does not exist here. So I started to think about all the possibilities of how to find out where that might be. So first of all, I'm going to go to talk to our uncle. Well, that's one way to get through. So, let's see if Uncle Chuck has any info about the, uh, library. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh, oh yeah, we got the letter. Right. Well, let's just give him the letter. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Okay. Huh. Maybe we can actually take a look at the letter now? It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. So it's some reason. That's good. And also, I still have the gas. It's special gas for chainsaws only. It's uh. pretty full. Maybe we can send it back to the past so in Maniac Mansion they can actually use the chainsaw for once. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. I'm, I'm got, I, you gotta think about all of this. They make some kind of special kind of pillow. What kind of a pillow do they actually make around here? It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Okay. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. Really? It's chess? a box, but it's sealed shut. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Can we open it? My dear Dolores, please leave my box alone. You may open it up as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory. I still wonder what it is all about this pillow factory that you do. It's a conundrum that needs to be solved. I mean, we don't have any info about what the pillow factory is. What it exactly Where is. Where am I? What do the pillow pillows do? themselves. Where am I? So I guess that through this I can get through. Just crash through the whole house to get to where I want. And this is her room. Got it. So, uh... Where could I find more information? Well, there's also her father, of course. Maybe she... Maybe he can tell her about... Terrible argument. Hi, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. 3.1. Where the heck is 3.1? I mean, there's 2.8. Sorry, point... Dolores had to witness that. We're still here, you know. You're still... The sign says it's out of order. Still talking to yourself, man. I wonder if there's still the cabinet with what you can open in a Maniac Mansion. Let's get a tape from... Apparently not. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Section 3.1. I wonder if I need to uh, change to Reyes at this point. Oh, can't. Okay. It's kind of interesting that the option is up there, actually. That you can change to Reyes, but you can't, but it's still there. Uh... There's nothing inside. Not a big surprise, because you really don't have anything in the kitchen, when you think about it. Also, now that I think about it, can I use the... I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. I was just wondering if I can warm up the pie. Ding. Well, at least it's a working microwave oven. Now that we know that, it's all good. Okay, let's use the firewood in the fireplace. Use the gas on the log. This log should burn really well now. All I need is something to... light it with. Can I use this on this? I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Do I need to make something look red at some point? Possibly. Can I use the clock? 
That doesn't seem to work. Open? I don't want to open it. Damn it. But there's a secret in there! Yo, dog. Got any insight? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again. All the... Okay. Tardal yeah, the same thing. Also, can we talk to the uh, Mailtron? No. Digging! Nothing. Country Road. Dig I can't leave the Mansion Mansion yet. <laughs> the Mansion Mansion. Not Maniac Mansion, Mansion Mansion. <laughs> Clever. I have no clue in what to do right now on how to get the book that I need. 3.1. I mean, it says 3.1. Why do I let him talk to me like that? Good question. Most of the books in the library were written by our backers and supporters. They assume all responsibility for their content. Oh, well, it's good that they take the responsibility. And there's a lot of fun stuff here. Like the Rick Roll book. How to know what dog are. Hello, do you know what an, an dog are? It okay. And dog are difficult to know what an dog are. Dog are different than man woman. Dog have being an animal and live on the ground. Jeez. Oh, people really put the lots of why effort. Why plush into toys? This. Yeah, why not? Plush toys are fun, cuddly, and cute. I, can't, I assume that 3.1 is just somewhere amidst all of this. I just have to go through everything. And also on the, on the last video, there is this uh, binary code. It trans translates to SSB. No idea what that means. I wonder if 3.1 is actually here. Hiding in 2.1. Yourself. This might take a while, so I might be just this keeping ahead at some point. If this is really what you need to do. Trapped in this game. By Nick Alexandres. Help, I'm trapped in this game. Yes, this video game you're playing right now. Please believe me, those evil scumbags Ron and Gary, the programmers of this game, Used some sort of forbidden programming code and a bunch of used balloons and trapped me in the game and I can't get out. I've explored the whole town, even places that you can't see and I still haven't found a way out. I'm afraid there isn't one. Everyone I've spoken to here thinks I'm insane, but I'm not. I'm from the real world. You've got to believe me. I've written this book in hopes that a player will read it and find a way to get me out of here. I don't know what else I could tell you that could help. The last thing I remember was delivering pizzas to Ron's house and then Ron and Gary used their warlock powers and trapped me in here when they didn't have money to pay for their 12 pizzas. I told them I was a huge fan, but that just made them angrier. Please find me, I haven't much time, I'm hiding in the oh god, they're coming. No! <laughs> yeah, somebody told me about that. But I didn't really read it myself uh, when somebody showed me a picture of that, but... Man. Moments. My first login. Things made incredible. Mm -hmm. The Secret of Monkey Island, Dr. Lucas Beck. Kybrush as it is delivered. Yet the source in the situation is unsatisfactory. Our findings result from what we learned from Kybrush at the time I blew up Lechuchk. And his later unfinished memoirs, the LeChuck, LeChuck's memor, memoirs, Elaine Marley's Next to Nothing, which is more scientific work but mere fiction, the both hands empty biography, Sermon to Thrustel's descriptive Cursus Philosophicus, Book of 1 to 10, and not so much 11 to 17. Although the sources don't match in detail, one issue is described in all of them. Another important event must have taken place years ago, creating the basis for all recent events in the Caribbean. This event stands in close connection to the sea voyage by Governor H.T. Marley and his crew. Here it has to be taken into consideration that most people involved in, in 
that original event did not die as we might have assumed at first glance. They survived whatever had happened and decided to or at least de facto didn't scatter themselves and their map parts throughout the entire Caribbean. It has to be a submitted that they did this according to old pirate principle of better scatter to hide something. Therefore, it becomes clear that the secret of Monkey Island is... Nobody knows. Nobody shall ever know. The picture of Edna. I gotta take a look at this. Bernard, Edna and Ted were sitting in the garden. Ted was a quiet, as quiet as ever, while Bernard and Edna were talking about the beautiful picture that the winner of the Colleagues Geek Award had painted for her. No, Colleges Geek Award. Edna knows the fact that Bernard was completely mad about her. She was married with the strange that strange scientist, but by the same token she flirted with him. Edna always had been a woman with a free spirit, especially as regards to her sense of love. Okay, somebody has been shipping Edna and Bernard. Well, Edna is a horn dog in the Maniac Mansion games, uh, Day of the Tentacle and Maniac Mansion. But Bernard? Really? Okay. I'm sorry, Dolores had to witness that. The Way of the Tentacle by Green Tea. As in the Green Tentacle from the Maniac Mansion games. I can't believe we really got that contract. The muscular tentacle side, slumping gently into his bed. He sipped thoughtfully from a juice box. Why so surprised? Knife asked, sitting down gently beside the handsome tentacle. Uh, more goddamn uh, fiction stories. And written by Green Tentacle himself about himself, how muscular and handsome he is. If you have ever seen pictures of the tentacles in the Maniac Mansion games, you know how handsome they are. Ugh. Hey, I never noticed this. That's Chuck the plant. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. At least he's not a carnivorous plant like it is in the Maniac Mansion. I also noticed somewhere over here, Rog. By Ron Rogers Sr., of course. Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following, and that's exactly the same list that is in uh, The Secret of Monkey Island when you ask uh, the important looking pirates about what is in the Grog. And this is the list. Before drinking Grog, you should buy a coffin in Moody Island. Yeah, you should, because that will kill you. Or make you faint. Also, Grog Wink by C5N. Recipe for Grog. Polyethylene cow stool. Axel the <laughs> Okay. He's in toilet water. Ugh. Ugh, it's making me barf. Just reading that list. Ugh. People have really... Chuck is such a bully. People really do have uh, imagination when they wrote all of this for the game. Okay, so I found a message message from the future. And it's all in binary. I'm gonna find out what this means. You just hang on there for a second. So I found out what's in the book. It says, Hi human, please help, I am trapped in this book. That's what it says in binary. I'm glad that wasn't a waste of time. <laughs> uh, back to looking for the real book that I'm looking for, and I've been recording for 30 minutes already, and I still haven't found what the book that I need. I mean, seriously. There's more binary for you if you want to find out what the hell this binary book actually means. The SSB one, and there's a maid who wrote it. Uh, so much binary. Just drink it, uh, just stop it here, stop, stop the video here, look for yourself what it means. That's a lot of binary to type down. So I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, I've gone through all of the shelves here, and I found nothing. I didn't read all the books, but I didn't find 3.1 or anything about Lucas 
flames anywhere. So I am completely stuck here on where to find a freaking book that I need in order to advance in the game. I mean, I am totally clueless on what to do right now. My personal information has been entered. Just have to answer the hard mucus questions. Yeah. How do I answer the hard questions when I don't know how to answer the hard questions? I'm totally stuck here, right? It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 yeah. floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. You got a badass com Commodore 64 right there. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only there were a large library nearby. Yeah, if only the library had something for me to find. I haven't found anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another look. I've I know I've already been recording for 43 minutes trying to look for any kind of information. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Light. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Yeah, but there is no section 3.1! Anywhere! I've looked everywhere, all over the place, for 3.1 or anything mucus. And nothing. Just absolutely nothing. <sighs> Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now. And yet again, I couldn't find anything. The only options that I really do have that there's something hidden here somewhere, and I just can't find it. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Yeah, like I've already said before. <sighs> I gotta figure this out somehow. I don't want to leave uh, the video just yet as it is. I mean, I've got to find out how to solve this mystery. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Well, it would look like it's on fire. Maybe if I actually use that. On something. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I mean, come on, game. Give me a hint. Help I stick me. Up for myself. Somehow. I mean, somehow help me. There are no hints here. I've gone through this whole place twice and still haven't found a freaking thing. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. <laughs> it was so simple, and I couldn't think of what that. Ah, oh, I feel so dumb. I mean, you couldn't pick up that sign in the original Maniac Mansion, and for some reason I thought you cannot pick it here. But then I realized... You cannot go through up to the... Up the uh, staircase because it's out of order, but what if you pick up the sign? <laughs> yeah, what if you do pick up the sign? Right there and there! There's your goddamn answer! Let's find what we That's need to find. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. It's a nice couple. Nice hat. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. With a huge hat. Who's this then? That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. Cute. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Ah, so in this world, dragons do exist, apparently. And who's this? That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. Ah, cool. Young Chuck. Okay. So now I got even more books. I'm gonna go backwards, just... 
I'm just, I might uh, just go, just skip all this. I'm just gonna look at them myself and point out all the fun ones that I find. Well, right away I find the Meteor Theory by Dr. Fred himself. All our universe is based on the Fibonacci sequence. Hmm. The Fibonacci sequence, huh? And everything is F Meteor, F Meteor this, F Meteor that. Okay, yeah. Dr. Fred went crazy after the uh, purple meteor came to him. And tried to take over the world. And all that. Actually, you know what? Screw all the books. I just want to get the mucus, um, mucus book that I'm trying to find here. So let's see. Thimbleweed 64, vacuum cleaner programming. Let's see. Graphics 5, it sounds 8, and gameplay 3. Uh, somebody didn't like. Uh, somebody didn't like uh, Thimbleweed Park. Apparently, this is a uh, description of it. And the opportunity. Oh, they're talking about Maniac Mansion. Graphics 5, Sounds 8, and Gameplay 3. Right, okay. Where are the animal rights hacked the tentacles? What will be next? A three headed monkey? Nice reference to Monkey Island there. You can die or get in a dead end. Yeah. You actually can, in the first Maniac Mansion. You can die, or get to a dead end, if you're not careful enough. Graphics Basic Guide. Let's see, recalibrating disc 2. Read me for more fun! RTF and read this fun manual. Read the fine manual. Home sweet home, there's no place like 1, 2, 7, okay. Whatever. Pascal, uh, Modern Computing, System 63, the user's manual, sudo rmrf. Okay. These books are weird. Microcomputing Programming, Mucus Programming Primer. There it is. Okay, that's what we need, so let's pick that one up. <laughs> simple Basic Made Simple. Ah, uh, where is it? It's easy to get lost in these. See other complete guide. Okay. Now where is the uh, mucus? Oh, she picked it up her by herself. Okay, never mind. Encryption for dummies. A game adaptation fix. F programmer's manual. Oh, F minus minus. Go to getting a girlfriend. Uh huh. C64. Easy programming. Hey, I got an achievement. Bookworm. Uh, I guess it's when you read enough of these books. Yeah. Thimbleweed Park rocks. It's gonna be. That's pretty much just a go coding that it repeats that text over and over with different colors. I know my Commodore 64 basic. I was ma I even managed to make a small ad text adventure. <laughs> well, since we got that book, and now let's get to her room, and I can stop there. I have been recording for an hour before I realized what I needed to do. Yeah, the recording is an hour, but I know that the video is going to be very short. 
That's it, and that's how it sometimes goes. But we'll continue from here next time. Holy hell, I'm stupid. I'm just stupid. Ah, oh, what a waste of time. But at least um, I got a nice video out of it, right? You tell me. You don't need to tell me actually that I'm stupid. I know I'm stupid. I always, when I, when it comes to adventure games, I always try things the hard way first before going the easy way, the right way. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And remember, if you have a huge library with a broken staircase, just take the sign off and the staircase will be fixed. Take care, people. Bye.